Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for August 13th through the 19th. Now typically my readings are love readings. We will see where it ever comes up. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now remember, if this reading feels like it's for you, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. It looks like you guys are turning your back on something. You know, it's like the three of wands reverse. It's like you may not have been prepared for something or you're turning your back on something, moving on away from something. You guys are moving away from something. That's what this looks like. Four of swords, you could be involved in a situation that is a dead end. I mean, this could be a dead end situation. This is the death of an idea. The Four of Swords. Something is ending. You're moving away from something you you are. Um, temperance reverse. Things have been back and forth, up and down, a little chaotic, a little disorganized. There could be some addictions here. There could be, you know, a lot of moodiness. I think there's a, a you know, a lack of balance in some arena of your life, and you may be ending it. Whatever this is. Yeah, it's like, I just want something positive. It feels like you guys are, are looking for something better. You know, you're looking for something much more compatible. Ooh, Ace of Wands, Reverse. There's some sort of, there's no growth in some situation, which this is this dead end. Okay, this is a dead end. This right here is, uh, there's, there's no more passion, there's no more growth, there's no more fertility. Some, there's no more, no more growth okay it's not it's like something is going there um eight of coins reverses and somebody's not putting in any effort somebody's not working hard enough and it's caused a major mess because somebody just doesn't want something anymore what the heck is this it's the end the death moving away there's an end there's an ending here i mean He's not coughing. It is. There's there's an ending here. There's no doubt about it. Like I said, a dead end. And I said that before. So, yeah, there is. There is. So, something is happening that is going to transform your life for the better. When something ends, there's a transformation. With somebody that you're better suited with or a situation that is better suited for you. This is a better suitor. Somebody that is better suited for you. When you turn your back on something else, it's when you take the lead, when you be the boss, when you find the discipline to protect yourself and put yourself first and take the lead to bring back structure to your life. You do the responsible thing. There's a major ending here. Whatever this is, whatever has happened has given given you a lot of wisdom. It's made you wiser. But it's like, you know, you don't you don't want to you don't want to be lied to. You don't want to be cheated. 7 of swords. There's some sneaky shady behavior and and you can't and you know it. It's the end of that deception. It is. Somebody's getting caught. Somebody may want to go back to a different spot or whatever. It's like, it's too risky, whatever this is. It's too risky to even go down this road. Hmm. get some clarifiers you guys do have you know you could be receiving an opportunity from somebody that is is very well suited for you in the future 
it's in the future, but you have to be patient and wait for this to come in. It's after you turn the back. This is the future. After you turn turn your back and let something end, whatever this death is, there is a dead end here. Whatever is not growing, whatever wherever there's no more passion, no more excitement, no more anything, it's done. Whatever it is that you need to move on from, whatever you need to regain control over, once you turn your back on that, there's a new opportunity that's going to be better for you. Once you move on, this card is the move on card from this ending. So you guys move on from something and get something. You will get something better, but right now you may think, you may not know, okay? The high priestess in reverse, she's not thinking clearly, okay? She's not, um, you know, she's keeping secrets. She is going through a repression of some sort. And I think that's what's going on right now. You're you're probably you you may be feeling like you're going through some sort of repression. Now we have the four of swords twice. Okay, dead end, dead, dead. See, dead, dead end. Something is is ending. Okay, and somebody's walking away because somebody isn't putting in effort. Okay, somebody isn't putting in any effort. Somebody's not putting in any work. Somebody's not doing what they said they were going to do. Oh my God, there's so much repeating cards. And like I said, back and forth, back and forth. It's like history is repeating itself here. Okay, we have the Eight of Coins twice. We have the Four of Swords twice. We have the Emperor twice. Things are repeating. You go. It's like you go from one bad situation right back to another. In and out, in and out. You know, things are very chaotic wherever you're at right now, definitely. There could be some anger. You could be dealing with some. You could be dealing with an Aries, just saying. Could be an Aries. Could be anybody. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, Pisces. But there's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of power struggles. Scorpio. There is a lot of power struggles. There's a lot of conflict. It's like you're in constant competition with other people. It's like, what the hell? I don't, I don't, it's, you know, it's going to be me or not. You know, if you could be dealing with a Pisces. It feels as though, it could be anybody, but it feels as though that there's a harsh reality here. And somebody, you know, may not want to see it because this is an illusion. The moon is real illusion. You, there's some sort of needing to see the truth or accept the truth. You may be angry. There's some sort of something going on behind the scenes, okay? And you know it. There's something going on that is hidden, and you know it. You do. There could be lust. There could be another sexual partner. There could be, you know, temptations outside of whatever you're in. It feels as though there's some addictions here. There's some lies. There's manipulation there's, um, there could be a third party situation that you know about. There's, there's, it's an, and there's like, there's no way to be happy in this situation. Maybe you're just worried about a third party situation or you're involved in a third party situation. Somebody is cheating. This is the cheating card. I didn't say it, but it looked with the devil and the three of cups right next to it and the moon. I mean, come on now. It don't get much clearer than that. Okay. It does not get much clearer than that. Okay. There's definitely some lies here. There's lust. There's probably some sex or whatever. I'm just saying. Whether it's you or whoever you're dealing with, I think that there is some sort of lie, illusion, secret that is is really making somebody angry. Put it that way. Somebody ain't happy. Um, and but the, but the what goes around comes around. Okay, what goes around comes around. So I believe whatever is happening is changing your course. And it's changing your course of life, your path for the better. Whatever is happening, it's going to change it for the better. But I see that you guys are, you may want to hold on. You may want to hold on to whatever this is. But you're, you know, reluctant to move on will just cause more hurt. I can see that you guys are reluctant to move on from this. Maybe you've put in a lot. You've put in a lot of effort into making something work. 
That's what it looks like. But you are being six of now. It's repeating again. Another repeater. So you know, if you, it's, I said this in another reading. It's either evolve or repeat. So it looks like like old patterns are, are repeating themselves and you may be reluctant to move on because this is a karmic lesson of some sort. This is karma. Um, and this is karma as well. And now we have the death card again. Okay. Death card twice. Another repeating. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. There's a there's a transformation that is needed. There's an ending. There's a there's an ending that needs to something needs to end. There is no doubt with two four of swords and two death cards. There's a death of, of an idea, an, a dead end that it needs to end. You need to move on, and I can see that you're reluctant to move on. But I think that you're involved in a situation in which you don't want to believe. There's nothing solid. There's nothing stable coming out of that. You know it, whatever it is. But you may not want to know it. Uh, you know, like I said, there could be a third party situation. There's a lack of togetherness. Three, three, three. All reversed. No growth. This isn't the answer to your prayers. Everything, these threes are all reversed. Something is not the answer to your prayers, even though you may think it is. Somebody thinks they know, but they don't know with the high priestess reversed. That's what this is. I feel like you're in a situation where there is another person that perhaps somebody else is in love with or who knows. But it doesn't allow you to have any growth with this person. You've kind of hit like a roadblock. And now it's time for you to see the light and come out of this darkness, Leo. It is. You're somebody, the truth is going to come out. Another repeater. Seven of Swords. Okay, so this is this is unbelievable. Do you do people change? Do they really? Sometimes. Once a cheater, always a cheater. I mean, that's what they say, right? I mean, maybe not, maybe not, but quite often. Um, now, what is this? This somebody is going to get caught, and the cycle is just keeps on repeating itself. And the wheel of fortune is the cycle. What goes around comes around. Okay. And this is okay. <laughs> the temperance card. I just happened to look at this and and, and realize, upright. I have evolved. Reversed. I have not evolved. Evolve or repeat. If you repeat, lack of balance, lack of harmony, lack of peace, lack of healing. If you repeat. Somebody's going to get caught. Some truth is going to come out with the high priestess, the seven of swords, the moon. Some stuff, something is going to come out that changes everything. If it hasn't already. Leo. Oh, what do we get? We got three. Should we take all three? I can't say no. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. I didn't see these cards yet. I didn't look. Ask for and accept support from others. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Is it? Is it? Is that what you think it is? Because somebody, somebody thinks they know. But they don't. Trust. It was reversed. I just flipped it. There's lack of trust here. It was reversed. I just flipped it. There's lack of trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Faith that you will find your love. Your true love. This is patience is needed. 
You may have gotten into a rebound relationship, you know, and whether it was you on the rebound or your partner, maybe, you know, they were trying to heal because that's what this is. This is a rebound relationship where it was impulsive. Somebody wasn't patient. They went right from one relationship to the another and they didn't take their time to heal. There was no healing. There was no healing. So I feel like somebody is, is still whatever you know what this is you do but you know you do know what this is i think that you're moving on or you're about to move on from somebody that you know you may have thought at one time was your true love but this other person already has a true love or something like that that's what i think this is i i think this person already has a true love and i do apologize i do or this person because you have a better suitor Okay, this is somebody, this is a better suitor waiting for you. Somebody that's better suited for you that would lead to true love. This is a very good suitor on the way that is um, for you. But there's a dead end situation somewhere in which somebody doesn't want to accept. I think somebody got into a rebound relationship with somebody that, you know, may have just went from one to you or you to them or whatever. Somebody didn't have time to heal. That's what I have. So I feel like this is an ending. An ending is on the horizon. I'm sorry. Talk to you later.